good evening, saints. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. God bless you. He's worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. I pray that you're blessed and highly favored. Yes, Lord. It's Friday. You know, God is still keeping us. You're blessed and highly favored. Yes, Lord. God bless you. He's worthy of all the praise. Yes, Lord. He's worthy. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing. Yes, Lord. I bless you. Somebody said they just received the prayer CD. God bless you. I pray that it continues to be a blessing to your house. In Jesus' name. He is risen. Sorry, I should have said that first. He is risen. He is risen. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Man of God. Okay, I'm looking forward to that in Jesus' name. Oh, he bought it from Apostle Kim Daniel. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's a blessed CD. In Jesus' name. Oh, Lord. God is good. Hey, Basha, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you, and I just woke up, right? But, you know, I, I've got to feel his presence. I'll be honest with you, you know, when I don't feel his presence, it's the Mary he's raising. I, you know, I have a bad day when I don't feel his presence. I need to feel his presence. I need to know that he's with me. You know, I keep saying this to you. See, the way of the world now you know, the focus of the world is shifting from material things, okay, to, uh, you know, your personal relationship value, right? Value is being placed upon this vessel rather than in material things. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's the most, you know, uh, uh, you know, where we're not beginning to realize what is valuable. Because let me tell you something, when, you know, material things are taken away from you, they can be replaced. You know, uh, places that get blown up, guess what? They can be built up again. Do you see what I'm saying? They can be rebuilt again, you know, but one of the enemy eliminates you, telling you, we're in trouble. Hey, God bless you, even those that have come to insult us. The second CD. What second CD? Which second CD? <laughs> yes, Lord. Father, we honor your presence. You're with us in G. Hey, Labasa Talalabasha. Lesotolobrosia. My God. I'm so blessed that I can just wake up and start speaking in tongues. No matter where I am, you know, I'll, I'll say this, you know, I'm in garnering, you know, yes, sir, man of God, please, as soon as you get back to Accra, let me know so we can connect, okay? Let me tell you something, let me tell you something, as soon as I wake up, I start speaking in tongues, I speak in tongues in my sleep, you know, I was in a shopping mall yesterday and I was just speaking in tongues, you know, and uh, people don't understand me, they don't understand me, hey, Labasha, yes, Lord, God is faithful. Okay, listen, I've been dealing with this book, the book of First Kings, chapter 22. A very, very powerful scripture. Halalabasha. Oh, you want me to release a second one? Oh, there's a second one in the pipeline. Halalabasha. Kimo. Kia. Halalabasha. We pray that that will not be her portion in Jesus' name. Kimo and Kia. Not her portion. Kimo and Kia. Wait on the Lord to give me a word for her. Kimo and Kia. Mm. First Kings chapter 22, okay? Been dealing with this scripture. Yes, Lord. 
verse Kings chapter number 22. I'm going to deal with this spirit in Jesus' name. What is freezing? Uh, is it me or is it? Is it you? Helele Bosha. Olo Brosa. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. As a surprise birthday, the people of God was really blessed me. And I keep saying it, you know, uh, prayer mantle family, God bless you for everything. I can't keep on thanking you. Oh, Lord Jesus. I can't keep on thanking you for what you've done. Okay? In Jesus' name. Stage four. I don't care what stage they, 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 they write down. The devil is a liar. I ain't believing in that report. Hail Abasha. Yes, Lord. I refuse to believe in that report. In Jesus' name. Oh, if you have a dream, email me the dream, okay? Email me the dream. Ah, yes, Lord. Kia. I'm waiting on the Lord. Trust me, God will give me a word for her in Jesus' name. Healing belongs to her in Jesus' name. You know, let's go to the book of First Kings chapter 22. I love God, you know, and 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 I always know. I always know when God is speaking. I've been on this word for a couple of days now. Some of you, I've, it's really been in my spirit for a couple of weeks, but I started sharing it a few days ago. In Jesus' mighty name. Mm. La 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 ba si te le ba sha. Mm. You got it. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. Yes, Lord. First Kings, chapter twenty-two, verse ten. See, this is what I need. I'm going to teach you. A brief is going to be, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, you know, uh, warfare series one hundred one. Like, quick. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Verse ten. Okay, verse 10. The king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, having put on their robes, listen to this now, having put on their robes, mm, sat each on his throne. The king of Israel and the king of Judah, having each, they put on their royal robes, and guess what? They sat on their thrones individually. You know, they each had the throne. What makes them or what qualifies them as a king is that they're able to sit on that throne unopposed. Hear me? Nobody can oppose them. You hear what I'm saying? Nobody can oppose them when they sit on that throne. That is what qualifies them. That is what makes them the authority in that land. Hear me. Pay attention. You follow what I'm saying? That is what makes them the final authority of that nation. You look across the board in every country, whether it's a president, whether it's a prime minister, whether it's a king, whoever they have in terms of rulership, ruling the nation, there is a seat, there is a throne that they sit in which qualifies them. You see what I'm saying? That qualifies them. That makes everybody listen to them. Watch this now. As they speak. So here is the king of Israel. My, my, my help is going to show up very soon. The king of Israel and the king of Judah and they both Wear their clothes, their royal regalia. And they both sit on their throne. And they're getting ready to intimidate the prophet of God. Because if you read the scripture properly, you will see that when the false prophet spoke, they weren't wearing no royal regalia. But when the call was made for Micaiah to come, watch this now, 
they put on their royal apparel, sat on their thrones respectively, ready to intimidate the young prophet. But wait just now, the young prophet wouldn't bow. When you read the scripture, he wouldn't bow. Because the true test of your faith and your belief for a lot of us is even when things are going wrong, that you can still stand and declare God to be the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That is the true test. You see what I'm saying? Hey, Stylistus, God bless you. You see what I'm saying? No matter what they're wearing, you see, that's why I keep saying this to you. You know, whoever is, you know, represents, you know, uh, the king of Israel and the king of Judah in your life in this season. You see what I'm saying? Whoever represents that in this season, okay, you have to have in your mind. Because listen, you will always have a representative, a representative like that in your life. You see what I'm saying? So you have to make up in your mind that you will not be moved, irrespective of who they are. And so the call is put out, let's read the scripture, to go to call Micaiah to come. Because now, you know, the word that has come, it looks like uh, it's not the word of God. Mm. And so now, watch this now. He hears the word of God. Or he hears the voice of the true and living God. And the word is that he has to declare to the king. Now, all them people that he's got around him, they ain't, they ain't speaking on the behalf of God. Do you know what I'm saying? They ain't speaking on the behalf of God. Hey, my spiritual mother is online. Good morning. Good evening. Pastor Rachel, that's my spiritual mother. She's online right now. So listen. So now, it looks like there's a conflict. Mm. But I love verse 19 Because you know When everybody sits on their throne I keep saying this to you know People in position you know Like titles you know People come Today we have people with multiple titles People give themselves four or five titles You know When they sit on their thrones Let me tell you something Hey Verse 19 Listen to what it says Then Micaiah said Therefore hear the word of the Lord I saw the Lord Sitting on his throne. As soon as Micaiah said that, you knew the game was up. You knew the game was up. As long as Micaiah said, I see you people sitting on your throne. I see you in your royal regalia. But watch this now. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. My God. Oh Lord Jesus, I don't know, I, can't, I just came to tell people this one. Listen, I know, I understand, I'm not being insensitive, but you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to act like, you know, yes. But let me tell you something. No matter who is sitting on the throne, no matter who it is, listen, it can be Pharaoh, it can be Nebuchadnezzar, it can be Herod, whoever it is that is sitting on the throne and they're passing judgment. I said this to you, listen, every throne upon this earth is temporary. Believe it or not, it is a temporary position. Oh, the mighty fall. Have you ever seen the mighty fall? Haven't you heard of banks that collapse? You know, in the UK, when I was there years ago, you know, Barron's Bank. It was a young man by the name of Nick Leeson, N-I-C-K, Nick. When you get a chance, check it out. Leeson, L-E-E-S-O-N. One man collapsed a bank. An institution that had been there for years because of, you know, some bad dealings that he was doing that nobody checked up on him. Uh, after a couple of months, you know, he collapsed a whole bank. Haven't you heard of an establishment that collapsed? 
places that you would never think will come down. Listen, giants fall, you know. Giants. Because listen, their position is temporary. There is absolutely nothing that they're doing that is permanent. Their position don't mean nothing. And so watch this now. The first thing Micaiah saw when he came out is he didn't see them sitting on a throne. Because listen, if he sees them as sitting on a throne, then whatever they say becomes final. But the first thing he sees is his eyes open and he sees the one that he worships and he serves sitting on his throne. So, okay, now that I see him sitting on his throne, highly lifted up, I'm going to show you what is about to befall you because your throne don't mean nothing. Your throne, like, is nothing. You know, some of you facing challenges today. You're facing battles today. You're facing warfare tonight, this afternoon. And you're getting ready to give up because it looks like that thing is sitting on the throne. And it is telling you what is going to come or what is coming to overtake you. But listen, if you would just lift up your eyes and just look. Listen, unless their throne was conjured out of the sky. And even if it was, oh, the God that we serve is too powerful. It's too powerful. Them thrones don't mean nothing. Them thrones that they have ain't going to do nothing. Because listen, verse 19. Therefore hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. And what just now? As soon as he is sitting on his throne, guess what happens? The host of heaven is standing by. Listen to this now. Oh, I felt that. Listen to this. He's sitting now. Everybody else is standing. The prophet of God is on point. I love, I love the prophetic ministry of Micaiah. You know, may not have heard of him, you know, pretty much after this text. But notice what he said. He puts everything into perspective. He said, listen, I see the Lord. He's sitting now. Make no mistake. Everything else is standing. My God, everything else is standing. This is where you speak in tongue. I see God seated, but I see everything else standing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's what the prophet of God sees. And he brings everything into perspective because, listen, as long as you stand, Oh, listen, that thing that is fighting you, listen, it is standing because, listen, it's got to bow down. It has to bow down. Oh, it has to fall. It has to die. It has to lay prostrate before God. It has to bow down. I see God seated. But everything else is standing. This hour, listen, let me tell you something. If only you can see God seated. That's all you've got to see. Just see him seated. Don't worry about what you're facing. Just see him seated. If you can see him seated on his throne, then guess what? Everything else. You see them standing. Oh, I see the Lord. Some of you just need to catch it. Seated. But I see everybody else standing. And guess what? When they stand, it means they are waiting on instructions from the one who is seated. You know, some of you may not know this, but you know, if you go into, like for instance, in England, the queen, when the queen walks into a room, let me tell you something, even if you're seated, you need to stand. You know, if it's an occasion, everybody sees that as soon as she walks into a room, you stand. Or there'll be times when nobody sits down 
until she shows up. And she has to sit down first before everybody else will sit. Now that's an earthly queen. And that's how it works with you know, mostly any royal, you know, uh, uh, type of setting, you know, whatever country. You know what I'm saying? basha, Hilelebosha. The king, hey, has power. And so let me tell you something. This hour, all you got to see, just see him seated down. You know, just see him seated. Don't worry about Just see him. I saw the Lord. You got to see him. got to see him. Micaiah was not intimidated. That's what caught him. That's what caught my attention. See, he came into the scene and he saw the kings, the two of them seated with their royal apparel. And Micaiah was standing in front of them. But notice he flipped the script. I said, let me tell you something. The God that I'm serving, he is rather seated. But you, oh, you're standing and you don't even know it. Because I saw all the hosts of heaven, and they are all standing. And God would then go on to say, hey, listen, I'm trying to figure something out here. Because there is a scene that is taking place on planet Earth. And I see, my God, we've got some demons showing up. God bless you, Mr. whatever you call yourself. You know, let me tell you something. So, I see him seated. Wait just now. And I see everybody else standing. And because they are, they, are, they are in that standing posture, they need to come to him where it is now, give him a report. Or he can use them as and when he feels like it. So guess what? The scripture then is like, hey, hold on a minute. What is going down there on earth has got nothing to do with me. But since they are using my name, because listen, listen. When, uh, when, when the word of the Lord, you know, verse 6, let's read verse 6, um, chapter 22, verse 6. See, then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about 400 men, and said to them, Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to fight, or shall I refrain? So they said, Go out, for the Lord would deliver it into, your, into the hand of the king. So God said, oh, Hold on a minute. I said that? You're saying I said that? Okay, since you're using my name, I'm really going to come and tell you what I want to see happen. And so what just now? The word of the Lord comes through Micaiah. And God said, listen, I need one of you spirits here. I need, I, I need one of you to go and, you know, talk to these people. Tell them what I'm really saying. Because they're trying to use my name in this season. It's got nothing to do with me. I am part of it. Mm. Hey, verse 20. What just now? I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the host of heaven standing by on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Hey, Basha. And the Lord said, mm. And the Lord said, mm. And the Lord said, Halalabasha. Who will persuade Ahab to go up that he may fall at the realm of the Gilead? Oh, I need him to fall. I need him to fall. Who is going to go and persuade him? Wait just now. So one spoke in this manner. Now this is all the host of heaven, okay? First Kings chapter 22. I mean verse 20 by now. So one spoke in this manner and another spoke in that manner. Uh, then a spirit, my goodness, came and stood before the Lord. Hilelebosha. Basatalalabasha. Then a spirit came and stood before the Lord. All this time they're standing. All this time they're standing. And said, I will persuade him. My goodness. A spirit came forward and said, I will persuade him. But in order for the spirit to be able to work, it has to go into the mouth of one of his prophets. And so all them prophecies that he was receiving wasn't from God. It was from the mouth of a lying spirit. Because listen, God can do whatever he pleases. I heard, you know, Bishop Noah Jones preach a while because he does as he pleases. Always as he pleases. Oh, he does as he pleases. Always as he pleases. Hey, Basha. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, he's faithful. So listen, 
is a lying spirit that is speaking to you in this season, trying to get you to, to give up on God. It's a lying spirit that wants, to, that wants you to give up. That wants you to give up. It is a lying spirit. It's a lying spirit. It's a lying spirit. It's a lying spirit that wants you to see that there is more enemies, you know, than the power of God. It's a lying spirit that wants you to accept that evil assignment. It's a lying spirit that wants to destroy you. It's a lying spirit. It's a lying spirit that is speaking against your destiny and your is a lying spirit. All you need to see tonight, oh, just see him sitting on his throne. Because listen, as long as he's seated on his throne, when he decrees a thing, it shall be established. He is the final authority in the mighty name of, is a lying spirit. Tell you what I know is a lying spirit. Don't accept it. Don't receive it. It is a lying spirit. The devil is a liar. That's what the devil is a liar. He's the father of all lies. Imagine that he's the father of all lies. Is a lying spirit. Is a lying spirit that wants to let you believe that you can't make it. Is a lying spirit that wants to prevent you from growing. Is a lying spirit. We come against it in Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against that lying spirit. Is a lying spirit. Is a is a lying spirit. Oh, the same spirit. Is a lying spirit. I'm telling you what I know. Is a lying spirit. You know, I, I, I keep referencing this. Uh, you know, this word. You know, the 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 servant of of the prophet once again wakes up one morning and he sees the whole Syrian army and come around Dothan where he is asleep with the prophet, you know, the man of God who is able to hear even what you speak in your bedroom. You know, see, whenever you're able to hear from God, whenever, whenever you're able, you know, whenever you're able, whenever you're able, listen to this, whenever you're able, to hear, you know, whenever you're able to hear the voice of God, whenever you're able to hear the voice of God, the enemy will always come after you because you put you 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 are a threat to the enemy's kingdom. You, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you're able to hear the voice of God, it puts you in a place of advantage. You know what I'm saying? It puts you in a place of advantage. Whenever you're able to hear the voice of God. And so what just now? When the prophet is able to decipher the truth, you know, because it looks like these people, okay, that they are really the author. I keep saying this to you know, people are looking at you looking up to these candidates, you know, running for presidency as the savior of your land. How, what's that about? I ain't gonna save nothing. They're flesh and blood. They can't do nothing. It's politics. They're just coming there to enrich themselves and to make themselves look good. Let me tell you something. You know, you respect authority, yes, but let me tell you something. The final authority is not in their hands. Which direction the country will go in, which direction, whether it's left or right, it's not in their hands. They can't do nothing. They can promise you the world. They can have a manifesto bigger than the Bible. But let me tell you something. Nothing in that manifesto will be implemented. Nothing will be implemented. The lying spirit that's got people believing in, believing in other human beings. It's a lying spirit. It's a lying spirit. It's a lying spirit that has gotten people to focus on humanity or on human beings. What is now and not look up to God no more. You know, the time came in the Bible. You know, when Samuel was seated as the prophet of God in, in, in those days. The Bible says the leaders, watch this now, the leaders came. Oh my shot. You know, I don't like distraction. I don't like, you know, they came, right? And they said, hey, listen, we want to have, you know, uh, kings, you know, like the other nations around us, you know. And, and Samuel was a little bit upset, you know. So he consulted God and said, hey, God, this is what the people are saying. 
you know, and God said, hey, listen, someone, why are you upset? Don't be upset. It's not you they rejected. It's me. Don't worry about it. But let me tell you something. Go tell them that I'm going to give them wages now what they want. But these are going to be the conditions attached to it. Because when the person comes and becomes a king, this is what he's going to demand of them. You've heard me preach on that a while, you know, you know, a while ago. And what just now? They said, hey, we want it. That was the first institution of the kingship in Israel. It was never God's intent for them to have a human being as their king because he was their king. But they rejected him. They put their they put they put they put their 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 trust and their hope in another human being. That's why I can't teach again. Now listen, let me tell you something. Nobody can do anything for you. You gotta know God. You got to cry unto God yourself. They didn't want they didn't want God to be their leader, the same God who had led them out of the wilderness, out of slavery. Now they wanted to have a human being, a vessel made of clay, dust. To be their leader. And they're still suffering for it. When you build up humanity. When you build up a human being. You're going to have trouble. In Jesus name. Hele Bosha. It's the lying spirit. That has got to believe in. That this is all you can be in this life. It's a lying spirit that has got to believe. You know that you can't go any far. It's a lying spirit. It's a lying spirit. It's a lie. Don't receive it. Don't, it is a lying spirit. Lying spirit. It is a lying spirit. Well, shut. In Jesus' name. For the next 10 minutes, we're going to cancel that lying wonder in Jesus' name. Oh, every lie. Hele Bosha. Every lie. Even if it's coming from family. It's still a lying spirit. It's a lying. Listen, most of us, we've been shaped. Okay? We've been shaped by family, words that family have spoken. It's a lying spirit. Most of it will come from family. Because, you know, you spend most of the time growing up, you know, in fam you know, family. So most of us, you're shaped by what family said to you. But the devil is a liar. Hey, it's a lying spirit. I feel the presence of God in Jesus' name. Come against that lie right now. We come against that lie right now. Let that lie be cancelled. Mm. Let that lie be cancelled. That lying spirit. That lying wonder. In the name of Jesus, those of you who are sick, you know, I've not done this for a while. Get your bottle of water. Those of you that are sick, in the name of Jesus. Blood and water came out of his side when he was pierced. In Jesus' name. Get your bottle of water. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Deliverance is about to take place on Periscope. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Get your bottle of water. Halalabasha. Lalalabadilibiasa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hato de Libriasha. Le so tololobrosia. Vaso tololobrosia. Le ton de libiasa. In the name of Jesus. Father, I call upon your power. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, for the next five minutes, I need the power of God to show up. In the mighty name of Jesus, la to de libriasa. In the name of Jesus, helele bosha. In the name of Jesus, la 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 basia. In the name of Jesus.
He basha. Helele basha. Get your bottle of water. Power of God is getting ready to hit. He basha. In Jesus' name. Father. Hey. I trust you and I believe you, God. And as a point of contact, Father God, whoever God obeys and follows your instructions, God, this hour, that need deliverance, that need healing. Father, bless this water that they're holding. Bless this water that they're holding. In the mighty name of Jesus, transform it, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, use this as a point of contact, Father God. To bless who Basha La 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 Basia He Bashaya Kosam Gani He La 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 Basia Father bless Flash out whatever is in the system that don't belong to you God because you're the owner of every vessel and every owner has the right hey, to check their property God Tonight is an inspection night. God, I want you to check every vessel, every property. Whatever doesn't line up with your will, let the water flush it out in Jesus' name. Ah, Basha. Hey, power. I feel power. Let the blood of Jesus flush it out in the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now listen, those of you that believe in the power of prayer and the power of God and simple instruction, begin to bring that water. Begin to bring that water in Jesus' name. Halalabasia. In Jesus' name. La to de libriasa. Halalabasia. Hililibosia. In Jesus' name. He's here. He's going to hit very soon. Ho! Oh! I feel that that was him. Hey, Basha, la 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 Basia, in Jesus' name. Ho, Basha. Ho, we got nowhere to go. That's what he's singing. We ain't got nowhere to go. Hey, Asha. You feel that? Yes, Lord. Hey, Basha. Yes, Lord. Who else can we go to? Bring that water. Hey. Hey, Basha. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Halalabasha. God is good. In Jesus' name. His will be done. It is done. Listen. Halalabasha. Hey! Basha. Now listen. God is good, okay? I got the next call to make. You know. Hey, India. God bless you. Sister Eunice. God bless you. God is faithful. Hey, Basha. For the presence of God. So I'm gonna have to cut it short, okay? I've got I've got I've got uh what do you call it? A phone, you know, uh a phone call that I need to make. It's also about prayer. Okay? And so the business people gotta go make that call. In Jesus' name. Gotta go make that call. For the business people, okay? So listen, God is good, God is faithful. Remember, all you need to see is just see him seated on his throne. That just kills every other thing, okay? <clears throat> In Jesus' name. So have a blessed evening. You're covered. Those are simple instructions, okay?
simple instructions in Jesus name God is good yes Lord the partnership prayer oh I have to, you have to ask Sister Mary I think it's 9 p.m. I think but email okay tomorrow is the partnership prayer you know just go on the phone line and just pray okay and then after this I'm gonna go and pray with the business people God is doing some tremendous stuff with the business owners if you're a business owner you need to come on the business line and pray in Jesus name you're blessed you're highly favored the Lord leads you to always support this ministry support what God is doing go to the website and get yourself familiarized with it and support us okay in Jesus name I love you all always know as my spiritual father would say you're too needed to be wasted sister Nicole I still got your CDs I'm sorry I just had a, a, a busy week but I'm gonna sort it out for you okay God is good so listen go have a blessed evening okay sister Kia oh you 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 know I called out her name okay don't worry it is well okay it is well okay dr donna it is well you never received the partnership email email us now tell sister mary to send it to you okay in jesus name in jesus name it is well in jesus mighty name it is well in jesus name it is well Goodbye. I'll see you later. Sister Janelle, God bless you. One of my closest friends. God bless you. Hey, water is working. Hey, Lele Bosha. Make sure you drink that water. I'm telling you. I know when God speaks. God bless you. I'll see you later, okay? Any new info for the orphanage? What it uh, like? What do you mean like? The stuff that we're collecting? So Sister Mary, okay, I need to speak to Sister Mary first. So I don't want to say anything until I speak to Sister Mary, okay? So what I'll do is, if there's any more information, I'll come. Maybe I'll come on tomorrow and make the announcement, okay, about the orphanage, okay? If you still, you know, like if you want to say anything, just gather it together, get it ready, okay? And then tomorrow, when I speak to Sister Mary, we can figure out the best way forward, okay? We cool? God bless you. I receive it from my spiritual mother in Jesus' name. Hey, my son, I receive it right now. In Jesus' precious name. It is well. In Jesus' name. Halalabah Okay. So just hold on. Let me speak to Sister Mary and we can get the process going, okay? In Jesus' mighty name. I love you all. Let me go get ready and pray. Let me pray down some, some fire for the business owners. We need them to break through, okay? God bless you. See you later. Love you all. Bye-bye.